Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about GP Power Tools and in particular the new form control module added to Build 31 which was released in August 2024. My name is David Musgrave. I'm the owner and managing director of Winthrop Development Consultants and an MVP. I've been in the GP world since 1994 so this makes my 30th year and I'm based in Perth, Western Australia. GP Power Tools was originally known as the Support Debugging Tool and was created um, starting in 2006. Uh, when I left Microsoft in 2014, I was able to get the rights to it and it was rebranded and re-released as GP Power Tools in 2015. GP Power Tools is available for versions of GP from GP 2010 onwards. The latest build 31 is only available for the modern lifecycle builds of 18.2 and later. GP Power Tools itself is broken down into four modules. The Administrator Tools, Developer Tools, the new Form Control Tools module, and then Database Tools. There are also a number of system features that are included as soon as you register any of the other modules. GP Power Tools Form Control module is a low-code, no-code customization solution for Microsoft Dynamics GP. It works by applying up to 60 different types of rules, which give it many features. It uses filters to include and exclude resources such as forms, windows, and fields. It is fully contained within Microsoft Dynamics GP. No external tools are needed. And it works with any product dictionaries installed. So all of the Microsoft add-on products as well as any ISV products installed or customizations that are dexterity based. Form Control was created to provide many features and customization opportunities, including streamlining business processes, maintaining data integrity, protecting sensitive data, highlighting key data, ensuring separation of duties, and meeting auditor compliance. We're going to be giving examples of Form Control. The following slides will show different examples covering those points. All the examples are available for for download for free from the GP Power Tools portal. They are on the samples page under a section called Form Control. These examples are just a suggestion of some of the features that are possible. Some of them use a little bit of code and others are using no code at all. An example of streamlining business processes could be entering in accounts into the GL account maintenance window. When you enter the account, the segment that contains the primary account, if it starts with one, two, or three, it being a asset, liability, or equity, it should be a type that goes on the balance sheet. Anything else should go to the um, profit and loss statement. Adding a small script with that business rule allows us to enter in the account number and for the posting type to automatically change. An example of maintaining data integrity could be when using the POP receivings entry window. The window allows shipment invoices. However, the warehouse team should not be entering in invoices as that is a responsibility of the payables team. So this is a no code solution that when you select shipment invoice, it comes up and says that you're not allowed to enter that. And then returns back to either the shipment or in transit inventory that you are allowed to enter. An example of protecting sensitive data could be hiding the item costs on the item maintenance window. In this example, we're using mark masking. The mask is removed when you click into the field. So to prevent that from being easily visible, we've also added a password so that a password must be entered. And once the password has been entered, you can get access to those fields and see the values. Again, this is a no code solution. An example of highlighting key data could be showing a visual queue on every window. So in this example, we've created a customer status visual queue, which is added to every window in the entire product where the customer number is displayed. This visual queue will show us whether the customer is on hold, inactive, has its credit limit, 
it does use a small amount of script to create the field and apply the color. It's using a virtual field which allows us to add a field to any window without using modifier or using alternate windows. The field has a tooltip to make it easy to see what the different colors mean. An example of ensuring separation of duties could be making sure that the vendor maintenance window is not editable. If you combine this with workflow, it could mean that the accounts payable team can enter in the details of a vendor and send it for approval, but the approver is allowed to only approve those changes and is not allowed to actually make any changes themselves. This is a no-code solution which ensures separation of duties. An example of meeting auditor compliance could be as simple as preventing the general ledger number from being manually edited to ensure that there are no gaps in the sequence numbers for general ledger. Again, this is a no-code solution that just makes the journal entry field non-editable. PowerTools also has the ability to completely replace field level security. It offers all of the rules that field level security has, plus many more. It also works in situations where field level security would fail, such as where a field that has been made disabled or hidden will reappear because there is code on the window that brings it back. Also, it can be configured by user and or company, as well as by user class, security role, security task, and alternate modified ID, which makes it much easier to maintain than field level security. Now it'll be worth showing a couple of demos just to see how easy it is to set up G GP Power Tools form control. Here we are inside Microsoft Dynamics GP on the GP Power Tools area page. Form control is set up from the card section using the form control setup window. We are going to use an example where we open up the cards purchasing vendor and you'll see that the window is currently behaving as normal, fully editable. Yep. For our example, we're going to turn it into a read-only window. So we shall do that. I will raise all windows. We will close this for now. I'm going to create a test vendor form control. Make vendor maintenance read only. I won't assign it to a project at this stage. I'm going to use the base settings to define that it should work for all windows that begin with PM vendor. I will then apply the custom mode to make maintenance windows read only and the custom mode to make address windows read only. These rules have the lock field rule, but they apply to all fields and then exempt all of the navigation fields. So if I now save this and reopen Vendor Maintenance, you'll see that now Vendor Maintenance is read only. I can navigate to the window. I can also open the address window, which is also read-only, plus uh, all the child windows are also read-only. Combined with the workflow functionality, this can be used to ensure that the approved does not have access to make any changes, thus ensuring separation of duties. Another example, if we go to purchasing transactions and we pull up receiving transaction entry, you'll see that I'm allowed to type in a shipment invoice. We don't want that, so we are going to exclude that. 
We'll create a new form control. Test receivings. Prevent shipment invoice. We will limit this to exactly the pop receivings entry window. Or oh, it helps if you get it correct. I'm going to cheat and just look it up. Purchasing and receiving transaction entry. I'm going to add a rule from the rules available and you'll see if I just show you we'll see there are lots of form rules, window rules, scrolling window rules, many field rules and we also have labels. I'm going to add in the rule that will say validate the field I will say on here that shipment Invoices are not allowed. If I show you the expressions, the expression I'm going to be using is an exclamation mark and a two, which says that you're not allowed to enter in the value of two or position two on that drop down list. And I'll apply that to the pop type field. I'll hit save. Now if we go to transactions, purchasing, receivings entry, and I type in shipment and invoice, you'll see that it says shipment invoices are not allowed. I hit OK and it then thus prevents me from entering a shipment invoice. Another example we can just show is on customer maintenance. In fact, this will be on all windows that have customers on it. Um, we can open our customer maintenance window. We are going to add in a command or rule to change customer to client for both window fields and for the window titles. And we will also ask it to strip out unwanted characters. So if we go to form control setup and we create one called test customer and we'll have rename customer and strip invalid characters we're going to add this to all forms that begin with rm underscore or Add a resource or forms that begin with SOP underscore or or forms that begin with invoicing or all forms that begin with service. The rules we're going to apply then, we will add a window rule to change window title and we'll say wherever you find customer semicolon, replace it with client. Um, we'll add another rule that says at the field level we want to change or set. Um, where is it? There. We will set the caption, change field caption, and we'll use the same expression of find customer and replace it with client. We'll then add in a final rule to strip out the unwanted characters. So that is a field rule, and we'll say strip invalid field characters. 
We'll leave the default in there, which is 0 to 9, A to Z, um, plus allowed symbols of space dash underscore and a period. And we will limit that to work on any field that begins with customer number. So that will make parent customer number, start customer number, and end customer number will also be included. If I hit save now, and we open up the customer maintenance window, you'll see that it now has the words client maintenance and client ID. And if I typed in some junk characters and then typed in a valid name such as Aaron Fit 001, and we might even have one more room for a junk character, we do. And I press tab, you'll see that it automatically stripped out the unwanted characters Oh, and I missed one. Hold on. I'll do that again. Error fit 0001. And rest tab, and you'll see that error fit comes up. So, again, we're showing how form control allows you to do customizations with no code. So your call to action for this, if you're a partner, please install it and, and you can get a free not for sale registration. If you're a customer, again, please install and you can start a free 30 day trial period, which you'll have access to the tool. If you want to learn more, please visit winthropdc.com GPPT, which is the portal. Also, we recommend that you subscribe to the winthropdc.com slash blog to keep up to date and see lots of samples.